to you once again. This time around, we'll be doing science. And the strand for this week will be forces and energy, right? Forces and energy. So under forces, or forces and energy, we'll be looking at the source and forms of, of, of what energy. Now, basically, we are going to narrow energy down to what light energy. That is what we'll be treating, light energy. By the way, what is energy? We all know that energy is the word ability to do work. We learn this even from the nature, right? We say energy is the ability or someone will say the capacity to do what work. So energy is the ability or the capacity to do work. But this time around, there are different forms of energy, right? And light energy is one of the sources of energy, right? Light energy is one of the sources of energy. By the way, what is light energy? Yes, let's brainstorm, let's brainstorm. Try to answer it yourself. Yes, okay. So light energy, we say, light energy is an energy source that makes what vision possible or that allows us to see. Are you getting me? Light energy is any form of energy that allows us to what? To see. Without light energy, though, it will be very difficult for me to see Uncle Mauto who is taking my video currently. Are you getting it? It will be very hard for me to see him. Because there will not be light. But if there is light energy, one is able to see the other at a distance. And you are able to learn during the daytime and rest during the night time. You get it. So we are going to look at sources of energy. Now this light energy we have talked about, the light sources of energy we've talked about, can be grouped into basically two forms. So this light energy, we say light energy is what? Light energy is the energy is the form of energy that makes vision possible right that makes vision what right, possible and the new word here is what vision so in in other words we say that allows us to see or that makes um, um seeing someone in the in, in the daytime easy Right, so we call it one light energy. And this light energy can be grouped into two. Namely, we have what? So we say types of what? Forms of energy, sorry. Forms of light energy. Forms of light energy. Basically, we have two forms of light energy, but we'll take one for now. So we have what? The natural sources of light the natural sources of light so this is to tell you that we have light sources that are from nature mother nature are you getting me or in in, in, in science we don't say they are gotten from god yes but in your area you can say light is gotten from god but in science you say they are gotten from what nature that is to mean that even before the existence of man light was already in existence so there are different ways we can um, there, there are different ways human beings can obtain light. And remember, it's not only human beings that need light to survive. We have uh, even organisms such as the plants. The plants also need light in order for photosynthesis, in order for them to manufacture food for us to take. Do you know that the plants manufacture food? Good. So the, the, the plant also need the light to be able to manufacture food for us. Just like we human beings, we also need light to be able to see during the daytime. I get it. Let's let's assume that at night, when the whole place is dark, when there is total blackout, when there is light out, can you see your brother from afar? Good. So you need something to be able to what see your brother or your sister or your daddy or your mommy. A lot of you will still cry when there is light over, you cannot see your parents. But with the, with, the, with, the, with the invention of what? Light, we are able to see them. So we have the natural sources. So in the natural sources of light, we it include what? One, the sun. In the daytime, we are able to go about our activities. In the daytime, let me ask you, does that even on the motorbike lights or does he on the car lights when he's traveling? No. Right, so the sun is uh, the sun helps that you to see during the, the, the daytime. Two, we also have that so sun is a natural source of light. Yes, we have 
organisms or insects that also produce light on their own. I get it, like we have what we call the glow worm. The glow worm. You will find pictures of this in the portal. If you open, if you if you if you open your portal, you find pictures of the glow worm, the sun, and we also have what the stars. The stars are always blinking at night. When you look up in the sky at night, it looks very beautiful, right? What causes the beauty of the sun? It is the, um, it, what causes the beauty of the sky is the what? Is the stars. The stars causes the beauty of so these are some few natural sources of what? Light. And I know you get more when you read on the um, when you go onto the portal, you get books to read on. So now let's move to the artificial sources of light. The artificial light sources of light. Yes, artificial sources of light. I guess you know what artificial. Now we have talked about natural sources. We have we said there are sources of light that are obtained from what Mother Nature. Are you getting me? So now let's look at the artificial sources of light. So this is the direct opposite of the natural soil, which means that, which means that the, these are the sources of light that are obtained from what? Man-made objects. Are you getting me? Yes, human beings have also realized that, yes, even though we have been given the light by the natural source, but how can they be able to control it or to manage it? Human beings, yes, we've been provided with the natural sources of light, but how do we utilize it or how do we manage it to be able to cater for our daily needs? Are you getting me? Like I said in the beginning, or when I was explaining the artificial source, I said that yes, roofs are built over our heads, isn't it? So at night, we, are, we will not see the, what, the sun, isn't it? We will not see the sun. But definitely there will be stars at night. But what will enable us to see in our various rooms? So, so mankind created what artificial sources of light. And in this, this artificial sources of light, we have one, you say yes, we have the touch, the touch light, right? We have the touch light. We all have it at home. Yes, we also have the lanterns. Lanterns. Usually when there is light out. We either use lanterns, mostly in the rural centers, they use lanterns a lot. Lanterns, and we also use what? Candles. Candles. So these are just some few examples of artificial sources of light. And when you, like I said in the beginning, when you log on to your portal, you'll be able to see some pictures and, you know, there are some review notes you can you know, go through just to be able to um, understand, have a better grasp of what I have thought. Yes, we have exercises as well, so please do well to answer the questions and forward it back to us. So please, like I tell you always, write clearly so that the teacher will know what you are trying to well, write. Is that clear? So I wish you guys well and I'll be expecting to hear from you soon. Bye.